welcome or welcome back to the channel so this is going to be week two of our Spain vlog we've literally just dropped my dad off in the airport now um, and we're on our way to the Costa del Sol but we've got nearly four hours left so it's going to be a bit of a drag with the uh, two children in tow. Nevaeh's a little bit concerned people might be confused as to why we um, dropped my dad off but we decided that the first week we'd stay in Mercia area and he'd come out and then my friend was quite keen to come um, out to Spain for a little bit but not for the whole two weeks so she's flying out on Sunday um, so I've got a couple of days just me and the girls and then um, my friend Hannah's going to be out Sunday until we fly home on Friday Okay, so little update. We took a stop after, managed to get two and a half hours in actually, um, and then thought we'll take a bit of a stop in Granada. However, as we got to Granada, the heavens absolutely opened. Um, so we've decided to avoid going into Granada, but we stopped off, had a McDonald's, um, and now we're on our way again. So we've got an ETA for about an hour and a half time, fingers crossed. She's eager and I'm not sure she's going to be happy in the pool. Okay, you. I don't know if you'll be cold. Okay, so we've got um, kitchen and bathroom. Great, nice. Take two of showing the apartment. <laughs> we had a little run away who couldn't wait to get in the swimming pool anyway so you've got your own separate entrance around here um into the kitchen bathroom and then living room beautiful bright spacious and with sydney tally i'm sure this will be great for a coffee of the morning Oh, these are so stunning. So we've got that. Here she is, Miss Can't Wait. Master, master bedroom. bedroom. You want to toy your bedroom? Oh my god. Oh, you've messed your bed up already. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? And what does it look out onto? The and pathway. Guess what it's going to look like tomorrow. Well, there. Oh, uh, and I live. Sit down It's your room as well. Yeah. Yeah. It isn't. <laughs> it Come is. on, it's in here. Where should we put our clothes away? That's where I just closed. I put I just closed in there. Oh, first night. I am tired, but we're going to take a trip to the Miramar which is apparently a shopping centre, according to our Airbnb host, uh, that has lots of um, restaurants and things. So we thought we'd just go and check it out. Nevaeh's like literally bought no clothes though, I don't understand why. So <laughs> um, we can go and see if there's anything, there's Primark and Zara and stuff. So we can, we can go and check that out. I've actually unpacked everything this time as well. So hopefully it's gonna feel, it's gonna feel good. Um, Nave really likes the host here, and um, where she is lovely. But she says she like the like setup of the, the Airbnb. I think because we had such a big space like to ourselves. Whereas this, the pool is like shared with them. I suppose they they can look over the pool, but that's fine. It's okay. It's a bit cold for us anyway. I think. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll show you around the mirror while shortly. Go on then. Sorry about that. I love it. That's nice. Well, <laughs> good morning from a um, very sunny Spain. <laughs> 
it's absolutely bounced out last night um and was still raining when we woke up at half eight unfortunately it's feeling pretty chill as well so trying to work out what we can do today and tomorrow uh, and then the weather's supposed to pick up so that will be good but yeah definitely yeah if you're coming to spain have some contingency plans because it doesn't always <laughs> stay sunny to be fair though i'm just doing a bit of editing and i've got my coffee and this is my view out the window and my little barb next to me so <laughs> to be fair you know i could think of worse ways to spend a rainy day well <clears throat> Welcome to Mija. <laughs> it's a gorgeous sunny day here. Literally, the roads were flooded outside our Airbnb. <laughs> well, I think we'll have to come back because from what I've seen, it was probably very lovely. <laughs> you okay? It would be really. Huh? Mom, up here would be really lovely. So we are definitely going to have to come back up yeah. here. Maybe on Monday. Mondays used to be nice. Yeah. It's just the blur. Uh, it's his home, yeah? Uh, about five times by then. I thought you were playing. So, these were our chocolates made from butterflies and some dragons. She said the best part was painting. And they did a very classy job on hers here. It's yours. These are mine. And do, do you like did, my rainbow ones? Love your rainbow ones. They're all the balls. Yeah, and we did some donkey chocolates as well. So this all is my butterflies. They're your butterflies, yeah. Did we do oh yeah, we did half oh we did half in milk chocolate and half in white chocolate because you get to pick yeah, get to pick if you want white, dark or milk. And then I'm just desperate for a dance now, so that's the end of that. I, I scoffed my Morning. Um, oh, do you know what? Actually, there's some gaps in the clouds. <laughs> I was going to say it's just been pouring down, but uh, looks like there's potentially a bit of blue sky here. Fingers crossed. Just trying to wake the kids up. It's now ten to ten. Um, and my friend's flight. I've just tracked it. It's due to land. Just gone ten. Um, so I'm gonna go and pick her up when she texts me to say that she's landed because we're only about 20 minutes from the airport and then hopefully we can find something to do today. 
in this. Oh, my hair in the bay. I tried to wake her up, but it sounded like she was snoring back asleep. We shall see. Um, so when I've worked out what to do today, <laughs> I'll let you know. The butterfly park in Bella Medina for a rainy day. This morning I've been to the butterfly um, park which was really good, the kids enjoyed that quite a bit to be fair, it was quite small though so it didn't take too long and then we went to the mall and had some food there, did a bit of shopping and then just chilled, my friend was tired after an early flight so now I've just driven to um, the front in Flangalola here and I am going to do my um, final run of the week. I'm just on my run in Frangarola and I'm sure it's lovely down here with a bit of sun. Uh, promising the sun's trying to be through <laughs> which will be great because we've not had a nice um, day really apart from when we arrived but yeah, it was later on and then we ended up just going to the mall and stuff, so I'll be glad of that. Oh my god, eyebrows just like perked <laughs> up instantly. Guys. Just walking back to meet Isla and Hannah. They came into Fangarola because we needed some soda water and I was like, do you really want to stay in for the rest of the evening? Or look how nice these streets are. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be like this. I've been here before, but not since I was six. So um, it's, it's actually really nice. I would thoroughly enjoy a little bolt hole in one of these places anyway. <clears throat> We're having a drink down here somewhere apparently. Good morning, we are just going to go back now. We've been for a little drink. I think that was our car park actually. Happy days, happy days, happy days because finally. Finally. So beautiful excuse my washing there <laughs> just about to enjoy a coffee out here perfect it's like more like Hello from a finally sunny Spain. So I thought I'd update today. Um, we had a very chilled morning. I just had some coffee outside and things, did a bit of editing. And then we've just been to Banana Kitchen for food, which was really, very really nice to be fair. We were gonna go to the beach, so I packed the car for the beach, but the weather, um, I guess a little bit breezy, let me show you. Little, little bit breezy and sometimes the sun's going behind the clouds and I just felt like it might be a little bit cold. So I've told Isla we can go down to the beach later and we can have dinner down there somewhere. Um, and we have come to the pool to play for a little bit, which is too cold, but they're chilling by anyway. Morning. Uh, I just about to go on my run. So I thought I'd just give a little update to yesterday. So... When we got back to the villa, it was actually so hot by the pool, it was amazing. So we decided just to stay there and we were outside till like half six. So 
in the end you're like there's no point going out um we'll just stay and get food delivered which was really nice so we've booked some for tonight we've booked a thai restaurant that looks 10 10. um so we're gonna go there morning i was editing week two of the vlog last night just putting together what i already had and i've noticed I've already gone over 15 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put week two into two parts. So I'm going to end this vlog here and please make sure that you like and subscribe. It really does help me out and hopefully I'll see you for part two.